Well, 635 now and this week is National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. It's a week to honor the men and women who are there for us when we need need it most. In Sheboygan County, when you pick up the phone to call 911, you'll get dispatch supervisor Samantha Seget on the line or communication officer Michael Brungraver. They are two people who are dedicated to helping others and their job can be stressful at times. So I wanted to get an inside look at what they deal with on a daily basis. It's not for the faint of heart. Sheboygan Dispatch, this is Sam. And every day is different. It's never the same day twice. But for Sheboygan County Dispatch Supervisor. 123, sure. Let me just double check. Samantha Seget. I haven't heard anything this morning. She is trained. Missing dogs from Fond du Lac County. To handle it all. I really believe in public service. It's really important to me. Samantha has been working here for the past seven years. Um, it's been a roller coaster and says a lot has changed since she started. We have so many new programs and things that we use to help us. New technology, GPS and text to 911 has made the job a little easier, but there are still those emotionally heavy times talking to people right. on the worst day of their lives. And it's also very important to kind of push through the conversation. You just have to keep asking people the questions and let them know that you're there to help. Oh, yep, let me get that. Stand by. And across from where Samantha sits. Sheboygan County Dispatch Mike speaking. Her colleague. On 57 in Sumac. Michael Brungraver. And what was it? It was a hydraulic what? Has been in the industry even longer. I started dispatching ambulance uh, in Sheboygan Falls when I was 16 years old. Over the decades, he has heard it all, handling calls like this. A uh, gentleman lost a hydraulic cylinder this morning. On Highway 57, it wasn't strapped in well. Although this call is a simple one, Michael says during those stressful times, the most important thing is helping others. And if the job gets overwhelming, okay. there is a peer support system here. For Michael, decompressing means spending time with his wife. I do what I call nacho therapy. And uh, so if I have a stressful day, my wife and I'll go out to dinner. And the job has become increasingly busier. Over the past few years, the number of calls coming into Sheboygan County Dispatch has increased from almost 117,000 in 2021 to about 136,000 in 2023. For Sheboygan Local, Barbara Bauer, she says she's thankful she's never had to call 911. And that's a good thing. <laughs> but also says these hardworking men and women don't get the credit they deserve. Ever, you know, you never see them. They're behind the scenes. So. so as the phones continue to ring, Samantha and Michael say having a week to celebrate their job makes them feel good. But the real reward comes from impacting others in the community. It's definitely a feeling of accomplishment. We we do end up help saving lives on this end, so it so it is kind of nice. All right, and I asked Samantha and Michael, what are some things we as a community can do to make their job easier? And they gave me a list of three things. First, if you call 911 for an emergency, have your location, name, and crucial information on hand. Second, to try to be patient with them. Remember, that is a person on the other side of the line that you're talking to. And third, if you do accidentally call 911, stay on the line, don't hang up, so they don't have to call you back. Samantha, over to